Hi there, Capricorn, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for Valentine's week, uh, Valentine's 2020, your love and romance forecast. So let's see what energies are around for Capricorn. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them out in a mini Celtic cross, and we have Major Arcana the Fool in the upright position, followed then by Major Arcana the Magician upright and next we have the eight of cups in the upright followed by the queen of pentacles upright next we have the five of pentacles in reverse followed by the page of cups upright so i'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you first of all capricorn for your overall energy you have that of the fool in the upright position i think you're ready to take a chance again some of you perhaps who've been burned from the past and you're ready to jump right in with both feet um you've got a clean slate here capricorn so why not right take a chance some of you it could be a new beginning a new start in an existing relationship maybe you're switching things up, doing things differently. And either way, the fool is beautiful energy. Look at all that confidence, that solar plexus energy. That's a great card to have as your overall. And your crossing energy is Major Arcana, the magician in the upright. The magician is all about manifesting. Some of you could have been wanting to manifest a new relationship in your life and you're ready for romance. You're definitely ready for romance with the fool here. So you're ready to uh, bring either new love or breathe new life into existing relationship. So beautiful energies to have. And then your past position, we have the eight of cups in the upright position. The eight of cups is that of uh, not feeling emotionally fulfilled. Uh, and that can happen for many reasons. Sometimes this can represent walking away. This is the by Felicia card. <laughs> could have walked away from a relationship that wasn't working. Others of you could have just felt really, you know, unfulfilled on the emotional front. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles in the upright position. This is Earth energy, that of Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. It could be that some of you, this is uh, someone new that's uh, in your vicinity, perhaps someone you have your eye on, could be another Earth sign, or it could just be somebody who's really stable and has their feet on the ground. Uh, or this could be somebody who's just taken a shine to you, Capricorn, and is uh, wanting to sort of bring some kind of uh, stable type of energy towards you. And then uh, we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse position. Well, this can indicate someone who left us out in the cold or we have left them out in the cold returning. Uh, this card has been coming up a lot in the uh, Valentine's reading. So uh, it could be, I guess it's not that unusual that someone from the past could try to return around the time of Valentine's if they're trying to win us back. So that could be the case for some of you. Perhaps there's someone from the past coming back again. Um, for others of you, perhaps if you had just abandoned, you know, your emotional life altogether, it could be that now uh, you're feeling like getting involved could be with this person or it could be with this person. <laughs> we do have another court card here. This time it's water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Arising, Male or Female. This is about beautiful love notes coming towards you, Capricorn. It could be uh, from someone new for those of you who are looking. Uh, others of you, this could be an existing relationship or a relationship that's just on the brink of uh, turning into something more serious. This could be the same person for some of you, for others of you. This is uh, perhaps two different people that are that could be one that has returned from the past or it could be uh, someone solid that's coming towards you, Capricorn, that perhaps wants to spend Valentine's Day or the weekend with you. And then in closing, I'm going to be pulling from Under the Roses a um, Lenormand card, a beautiful deck here. And your card is the Locket. The Locket can represent, uh, perhaps somebody is giving you a gift this Valentine's, perhaps it could be, or you're giving them a Locket or something like that. It's more of a keepsake, but this is uh, something that's really special. So it could be for some of you, these messages that are coming towards you are something very sincere and very special. So that is your reading. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now.